you know, you're not the only person who would have been different if we had never met. I was, I was pretty messed up, too. I don't know. I think it all worked out the way that it was supposed to. I wouldn't change anything about us being together. I would. Like what? To make it happen a lot sooner. Oh, come on. That's why we both came out here. No, it's cold. Come on. It's cold. Yeah, I'll make you warm. It's late, man. I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work. No, let's do this first. Come on, knock it off. Knock it off. Come on. Hey, take off. Leave me alone. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. That's really nice. It's none of your business. You know, no offense, but I think I saved you some trouble back there. Really? Because maybe trouble's what I'm looking for. It's kind of my thing. You know, you can ask anybody. I'm asking you. Wow, look at the time. I got a gig at Yoso. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Hey, I'm looking for a girl. I think she's a waitress here. She's blonde, kind of has an attitude. <laughs> Half the chicks here fit that description. Yo, 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 time to give it up for the Itty Bitty Kitty Crew! That's a really great line. I bet you have a million more just like that. Uh, listen, anyway, I'm, uh, just because you saw me with your horn dog of a friend earlier, uh, doesn't mean I'm easy, so. That's, that's not why I waited for you. Hey, Gwen, okay. you coming? Uh, no, I'm okay. I've had enough partying for one night, thanks, Sam. Yeah. How about your cute friend here? Oh, if you want him, you can have him. So what do you say? Uh, I think I'll pass. See yourself. Ah, uh, you really should have taken them up on their offer. Those girls, they, they're good partiers. I wasn't interested. Okay, then what are you into? You. Mm -mm. See, I can't even believe I let you talk me into coming back here. The coffee wasn't good the first time around. Well, it's either Al's or the bench outside in Old Town. I know that bench really well. It's kind of late. Do you have anybody waiting up for you at home? Uh, no. I'm uh, an emancipated minor. I moved out of the house when I was 16. My mom and her boyfriend of the minute decided that that would be best for everybody. I think if my mom had it her way, then my whole family would still live at home. Like, forever. We're dysfunctional that way. So, the last time I saw my mom, she was crashing a car into the psychiatric hospital. She was expecting to break me out, and she got sentenced to instead. Ow. Ah, uh, that, uh, that stinks. I thought my family was bad. Yeah. I guess neither of us really fit in with the families we ended up in. No. No, I don't really fit in anywhere. <laughs> so, um, how about from 
From now on, this is this is our place. Yeah. 